Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel friends if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet do subscribe it today and press the bell icon to receive notification about my new videos in this video we will see how you can control one drive using group policy on your client machine so if you are an IT pro and want to manage one drive using the group policy we will see how you can do that in this video for this you will need one drive sync app installed on your system before moving on, I would like to show you the current state of group policy or GPO editor. So in the GPO editor, you can see that under computer configuration, if I go to administrative templates, you can see there is no OneDrive folder here. And by the end of this video, we will have a OneDrive folder here. And inside that folder, we will have OneDrive group policy settings, which you can use to manage OneDrive on your client machine. Here is what you need to do. If you do not have OneDrive Sync app installed on your system, go to this web page. You can find the link in the video description. Simply follow that link. And when you click on that link, you will see this page where you have to click on the download button to download OneDrive Sync app latest version to your system. After clicking the download link, you will get this OneDrive setup file you have to double click on that to start the installation of OneDrive sync app once this window completes you will find the OneDrive icon in your taskbar you can see that clicking on that you can sign into OneDrive With this OneDrive Sync app, there are some administrative templates stored to your system and to access them, you have to go to this location, local app data, Microsoft and then OneDrive folder. Inside the OneDrive folder, you will find this build number and inside that build number folder, you will find ADM named folder go inside that folder and you will be able to locate two files mainly named onedrive.adml and onedrive.admx and if you are on any other region or locale you can find locale specific onedrive.adml file for example, if I click on DE folder, you can see that OneDrive.ADML file is there, which is language specific. For this example, I will just copy these two files to the group policy central store. So if you are on a local machine, you have to run this command percentage win dir percentage slash policy definitions and press the enter key to go to group policy central store if you are in domain you can follow the location mentioned in this video inside the policy definitions folder you will find en dash us folder in that en dash us folder you have to simply paste the onedrive.adml file you will need administrative privileges to perform this operation so as you can see that onedrive.adml file is now stored in the en-us folder next Click on the upward icon and go back to the policy definitions folder. And inside the policy definitions folder, we have to paste onedrive.admx file. So simply copy that file and paste it. And again, you will be asked for administrator permissions. So click on continue. So far, both the 
OneDrive.ADMX and OneDrive.ADML files have been now moved to Group Policy Store. Now we will open Group Policy Editor and under Computer Configuration we will go to Administrative Templates and as you can see that there is OneDrive folder now. When we click that folder we have many OneDrive policy settings and using these settings we can manage OneDrive feature on client's machine. You can follow the Microsoft documentation link in the video description to get more information about these policies in detail. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, do like it, share it and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.